Recently, I noticed several spots on my images, especially when I was doing small product photography, because sometimes I use a smaller aperture, lens opening, and this way it's going to pick up the little dust particles or little specks that are on your sensor. Now, it's really not that noticeable. In fact, it's hardly noticeable if you're using a fast portrait lens like you're shooting 1.4. You really don't notice it at that aperture, but smaller apertures, it's a problem. Now, the D7200 is a fine camera. I still love using it. I've got it since new, and this is the first time that I'm cleaning the sensor, but I'm not new to it because in the past, I've owned several Fuji S2s, that I would clean their sensor on a regular basis. The way that I tested to see how much dust or specks are on the sensor is I shot against a whiteboard and by using a smaller aperture you're able to pick up all these little specks that are on your sensor. So I set my camera to f22 or 25 and did several exposures and then you can see all the little specks. You can see like the main ones mostly. And if you take it into Photoshop and you adjust the levels, you can really pick up. It looks almost like the uh, sky at night, almost like stars. There's all kinds of little specks on there. So I figured it was time to clean the sensor. Now, if you have these little specks that are on your sensor and it becomes a problem, you can send it back to your manufacturer for cleaning or you can do it yourself. It's not really that difficult. Just be very cautious. Work in a dust-free room. Just take your time. Follow the instructions to the T. So let's take a look and see what comes up. The tools or materials that we're going to be using to clean our sensor is, first of all, we have an APS-C sensor cleaning kit, which gives you several APS-C sensor cleaning swabs that are included, individually packaged. And then we also have a camera sensor cleaning solution. It's a liquid solution that we put a couple drops on the swabs. And we also have an air blower here. And if your air blower has a brush on it, like this one did, you can just remove it because you want to avoid the risk of scratching your sensor. So we're just going to use this as the first thing to try cleaning the sensor with just air pressure. So the first thing that you want to do before you start is to make sure that you have a freshly charged battery in your camera or you can use your AC adapter. And then you want to remove your lens or in this case our body cap and we'll take that off. And you can see inside here but we have the mirror in front so what we have to do is turn the camera on and then we're going to go into menu and we're going to go into the setup menu and we're going to scroll down to lock mirror up for cleaning. We're going to hit OK. We'll hit start. Then we get this little window that pops up saying that when the shutter release button is pressed, the mirror lifts and the shutter opens. To lower the mirror, turn the camera off. OK, so we're ready to start cleaning. So we're going to press the shutter release button. OK. So now you can see that we can we have access to our sensor. And you may be able to look at the sensor for dust spots if you use a magnifier of some sort. So let's start cleaning. And the first thing that we're going to use is our air blower. And when I use this, I always like to hold the camera body instead of holding it up like this. I'm going to hold it so the front of the camera aims downward. So as we blow air into our sensor, everything is going to be, hopefully, it's going to be falling out of the camera instead of just blowing it all around the inside. So we'll do that several times. Just make sure not to touch the sensor. So that's the first step. Then you want to take a look and possibly you can see if your sensor is clean and or you could do a test also and if you see that it's not clean then you want to go into the second step more than likely you're going to have to use the uh, cleaning swab and the liquid so let's do that right now so we're going to open up our swab here so then carefully we'll remove our swab from the package make sure not to touch and then 
we're going to put a couple of drops on here. The directions that came with Essential Kit says one or two drops, so I'm going to put two on here. So now that we have a couple of drops on our swab here, we're going to go inside and carefully, we're going to drag the swab from left to right in one sweep. And then it says to turn the swab over and we're going to go back again from right to left. One sweep. Okay, so that's how we clean our sensor. Now we're going to go ahead and do another test and see if that's okay. If not, we may have to repeat the process because we have some heavy spots on here that accumulated through the years. So let's take a look and see how that worked. Whoa, this really surprised me and this is the actual image taken after adjusting my ISO to 800 so that I got the proper exposure shooting at f25. On our next image here, I adjusted the ISO back to 100 to shoot at f13, which is about what I normally shoot my small products at. And notice how clean it is, even at f29. So here you can see the image from before and after that we cleaned our sensor. And this is just one sweep from left to right. I expected to do maybe another one or two, but I do notice a slight dot when I set the aperture to f25. But when I go back to f13 or f14, it's not noticeable. So I would say that this cleaning of the sensor was very successful. Thank you very much for watching.